that is our track from last night at Anchor. And that is a lot of movement and it gets worse. I mean, it was really all over the place. So we definitely slept with one eye open the few times that we actually slept last night, but case okay, sarah, sarah. So it goes it when you don't have that many options and we didn't have that many options. Now, today's another day. We're gonna hopefully do some snorkeling, take it a little slower and yeah. Alright, you should stop filming and help. <laughs> we just did something we weren't sure that we could do and that was pull up the anchor without turning on the engines just by using the sails and the windlass. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't show you, it's a little stressful because it's our first time but hopefully one day we'll uh, be able to set the cameras up beforehand and do it now that we know we can. How are we looking in there? Good! Okay, so that means put the camera back down. That means put the camera back down. <laughs> okay, ready to tack. Alright, here we go. Alright, I will trim this sail then. We are coming up to the underwater Jesus statue. And looks like there's a couple of other boats out here hoping to pick up a mooring ball and go check out what we can. We think it's the underwater Jesus. We're just going by a GPS location that we found online. I feel good about it. <laughs> like a boss, good hey. job! First time anchor mooring, whatever, <laughs> mooring. Morning. And I made a little bridle. I hope I'm supposed to do that. It seems like it would make for a more stable. <laughs> uh, seems like it might make for a little bit of chafing. Ah, a little chafing. It's a cheap line. <laughs> Just <laughs> made it out here without turning on the motors until we were ready to come in and pick up the mooring ball. So that was super exciting. And now we're here at our first dive site with our own boat. It's very exciting. We can't stay for long because we have to go to our next anchorage. But we made it here and it's our first time to get off our own boat and go snorkeling somewhere that we couldn't get without having a boat. Where'd everybody go? It's exciting. They all left. <laughs> Hopefully there's not something bad coming that we don't know about. Uh, there was a whole bunch of sharks. Yeah. Oh and... God. <laughs> um, we'll also be testing out, this is a Yi camera and this is the GoPro Hero 3 Black. Um, I don't have the newest version, but oh well, Nikki's going to be wearing this on her helmet and I'm going to be yep. hand holding this. So we'll see a little bit of footage from both. Let's see which one's better. Yeah. You're gonna have to push it. Oh. Tell me when. Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's 
good. And we didn't find him. We couldn't find him. Apparently we got out of the water, we looked at the map again, and it was right in front of us. Well, it looks well, like it was right in front of us, but we swam that way, we didn't find it. Yeah, it was kind of murky. It was a, little, it was a lot more murky than I expected. It was. The seas felt like they had, I mean, it wasn't exactly a calm yeah. day. Two things that I've taken away from this snorkeling here is I need to figure out why the heck my mask is fogging over like crazy. I have to do this every five seconds. And then our cameras are all fogging over too underwater. Like, it makes sense in California when the, it's hot outside and the water's cold. Cold, but, but here you're thinking it's hot outside and it's, it's still warm in the, in water. the water. Why is everything fogging over? Yeah, I don't know. And we used antifog, so yes. there's, there's, some, there's a greater problem there. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we're just too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> 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 Oh, I do have God. to say though, when the water is murky like that, not that we've spent a ton of time in the water, I mean we're scuba certified and we've done lots of dives, yeah. but we don't spend that much time in the water, well now we do, but yeah. before we haven't. So being in the water when it's murky like that makes me more apprehensive. I get more nervous, I'm definitely more jumpy. Yeah, she freaks out and then she hits me and like <laughs> knocks my mask off and I'm like, whoa, calm down lady, calm down. Well, when you see big giant jellyfish floating next to you, I'm thinking I'm gonna get stung, and then where's the shark? Where are the where's the shark? Yeah. So I've um, but that's one reason we wanted, well, I wanted to live on a boat and to do this is face my fears, yep. and I definitely have a fear of water. I but I enjoy it. I want to be in there, and the longer I'm in there, I I relax into it. But I have a long ways to go before I'm just willy nilly and. Just jump in with a bunch of sharks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. gonna take. That's gonna take some time yeah. for me too. Oh, yeah. but you always yeah. act like it's no big deal. I act like it's no big deal, but it's scary. Really? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're excited to hit the Bahamas, and this whole Florida Keys thing is a test not only for the boat, the sailing, but the snorkeling that we have, the snorkel gear we have, the things we think we need, yeah. like new fins. We definitely need some summer fins because right now we only have scuba fins. Yes, yeah, so I'm wearing. Nine mil boots <laughs> in Florida. Yeah, yeah. lightweight Not shark necessary. suit. Oh, my hair gets in the way all the time when I'm, and it gets stuck in my mask, and then I, and then I gotta, sh like, I need to shave, I need to do this, like, I don't know. There's a lot of to learn, and yeah. that's what I love about all this. It's just a, a, a week or two weeks of just playing and, and learning. But I think that's why they call it a, a shakedown trip. Shakedown trip, exactly. You shake everything out, and you figure out what works and what doesn't, and what you still need. Yeah, like, what doesn't work, like my <laughs> new, a tripod that I've had for like a month and it finally broke. Dang, the last one I had was five, lasted five, five years. Five years, and this one was like yeah. maybe three months. Yeah, so that's why we're using this other little little Sony camera right now. It looks different. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna sail in to Rodriguez Key. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! As little motor as possible. We've been good today. Yeah, we have. Oh, Want me to do it? Don't fall off. Time to drive? Time to drive! Okay. Send to the main. It's a heck of a lot easier now that we fixed this traveler.
Probably a barracuda. And he's kicking her. Okay. Jeez. Oh, good job. Well, that was excitement, but not edible. He was pretty good size, though. Man, <sighs> fighters. Yeah, and those teeth look like barracuda teeth. Those are barracuda teeth. Jeez. Those are teeth you don't tangle with. This is Rodriguez Key right here. And we are going to anchor on the south side. Hopefully, we will get some protection from the wind and the waves. Seems good. I need the fish gloves. We need those, buddy. Got to clean those now. Thank you. Made it. The anchor set nice and hard. We're gonna sleep like babies, which is really good after last night. How you feel about that anchor? Yeah, we did not get that good feeling that like <laughs> when I'm standing up there. We did not get that last night. Today, boom, we're solid. Stick here for a couple days. And I think tonight, I think we'll end this video with a fantastic sunset. It's going to be gorgeous. Oh, and a sundowner. These are the moments I wish you were here so we could all have a sundowner together. Go grab one and then come back. Yeah, so much better. It's like the sailing gods were against us yesterday. And... Not against us, we just, it was mostly the anchor and the low tides. And... Yeah, pretty much everything from the day we started, <laughs> from the minute we started.